Hi everyone. Um, hope you're all doing okay. And um, that these new, if you're well, if you're living in the UK, these new lockdowns haven't sort of um, sort of changed your Christmas plans too much. Or um, I can know myself, I was going to be going travelling to see family and things, which has kind of been cancelled now. But um, in a roundabout way, I mean, I wanted to spend some more time with the Lord over Christmas. So I guess um, it'll allow me more time to do that. And um, sort of spend some more quality time in the Bible and praying and stuff and just wanted to sort of um, do that anyway so it'll give me a chance to do that so it's, it's not all lost I guess And um, but yeah I guess you lot are all everyone's affected in some way but I hope you're all okay and um, yeah I just wanted to draw people's attention today really to um, if this is um another fund that um, Barnabas Fund are raising for, um, like another project. Um, it's for, um, basically t today in um, Turkey, Bosnia and Serbia, there's many thousands of Iranian Christian refugees who are, are facing a, a cold winter and an uncertain future and they, they fled persecution and um, now they're sort of struggling to get by in um, a hostile Turkish society or they're in uh, these camps in dire conditions in um, Bosnia and Serbia. Um, and Barnabas Fund's got um, this project, Operation Christmas Joy. I think they might do it um, like a yearly thing by the sounds of it um, sort of providing for refugee children at Christmas giving them Christmas presents and things I thought it was a nice nice project and um, so they're basically they're providing for Christmas presents for refugee children aged 4 to 14 um, from Christian families um, and they're mainly Iranians and they say each child will get a get warm clothes, pair of shoes, um, games, um, and activities appropriate for COVID times, stationery, and nuts as a nutritious snack. And in a testimony from a previous Christmas appeal, uh, there was a young young Iranian Christian boy said, as I was watching from the church window church building window I saw everything covered with snow I said to my friend I wish we had gloves so on our way home we could play in the snow it was very cold and soon soon afterwards the um, youngsters were given their operation Christmas joy gifts and um, when he said when we received our gift packs both my friend and I saw a pair of gloves amongst the other gifts in our bags. I was very happy and said, Dear God, thank you. You're so kind. Thank you for giving us both the snow and the gloves as your gift so that we can enjoy playing outside. Lord, you also gave me a Lego set, which I very much wanted. From that day on, I felt my God much closer to me. He is always with me and I love him very much. As a matter of fact, I have eagerly started reading the kids' Bible that I received as a Christmas gift. And I think it's um, important for us to remember, and I know we're all going through things at, at the moment, but um, in the West we have a lot of sort of gifts, many of them unnecessary, and, but to these people in these conditions, where they don't have anything, they're sort of spending Christmas in a refugee camp or something. It would mean, mean the world to them and really lift their spirits. And um, yeah, and they just, um, they see their prayers answered and um, just brings more joy to their heart and sort of also lifts their parents' spirits and um, they sort of see their kids as they should be around. Like like other kids this time of year, happy and um, sort of full of joy and um,
Yeah, they're just um, like their project partners who kind of give out the gifts and things, say that it has a, a lasting emotional, psychological, as well as spiritual effect. And um, basically, I, I think if you, if you felt if you feel led to, or if if you're in a position where you're blessed to be able to to help, um, it's basically um, to give. Per child, it costs them forty pounds, um, which is fifty-five dollars or forty-five euros. Um, but they've got a fund where you can um, contribute whatever you, whatever you're able to. But that's that's what it costs to, to pay for a full thing for one child. And um, yes, yeah, so I just think you know if if if, if you uh, feel led to and um, you're in a position where you're blessed to be able to to help. Um, It'd be wonderful if you could, and um, but we can all help with prayer and um, just keeping them in our prayers. And um, so, yeah, if, if you'd if you'd like to join me, we could um, all just have a quick prayer for them, and um, perhaps just sort of add on at the end any any of your own sentiments and um, what you'd like to pray for for them. Um, Heavenly Father. Holy is your name. Praise you for your, your grace, your mercy, your righteous judgment and your patient long suffering. We pray for your mercy on our troubled world, full of violence, hunger and disease. We pray especially for our persecuted brothers and sisters all over the world. Fill them with your joy and otherworldly peace, Lord Jesus. Give them hope to face the year ahead. Our thoughts are with our Iranian brothers and sisters who are currently living as refugees in Turkey, Bosnia and Serbia. Many thousands of them are living in hostile Turkish society or in the Bosnian and Serbian refugee camps in poor conditions. We pray for you to encourage them, uplift their spirits and comfort them with your Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask for you to command your heavenly angels to surround them and encamp alongside with them. Help them to find safe places to live and provide for their needs, Lord. Light the path of the refugee children, Lord, and guide them to grow up to be strong in their faith and be their protector in, in the face of danger, Lord, and help them to break free from the cycle of poverty and danger. May any suffering that they're currently enduring be a, a powerful testimony to their faith in you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Okay, thanks guys. Um, I'll just, yeah, if any of you are interested in looking at that or finding out more about it, um, I'll pop some links below this um, video so you can take a look. And um, yeah, I hope you all have a nice break. I'm sure I'll, I'm, I'm planning to hopefully get a few more videos up over Christmas and um, yeah, well, I've got a little bit of time to actually do them properly and not trying to fit it around work and stuff. It'd be nice to spend a bit of time on something. And, um, yeah, so, till next time, catch you later. God bless.